Hello guys, in today's episode, I want to talk about the stock market and why I do believe we're really, really close to a recession and to one of the biggest corrections we have seen in our lifetime. But I know most of you are interested in Bitcoin, but uh, stay ahead because Bitcoin and stock market are heavily, heavily correlated. So I think it's very important why we're going to start analyzing the stock market. And after that, we're going to look a bit into the Bitcoin price action. So let's start here of the stock market. I want to explain to you my theory I've been having here for some time. Uh, something we've actually been talking about since last year. So for you that follow me, you know I have these pitchforks here. And the way they work is basically the algorithms use these median lines here to dump price. So first, I want, to, I want to zoom out here on the stock market chart. So we have to remember we're now on the monthly time frame. So each candle we see here is on the monthly time frame. And I have the, uh, pulled this pitchfork down all the way from 1974. This was the lowest low I could find. We also have arguably one low here back in 1932. But if we pull the pitchfork from here, we can see price has already went through this median line. So we can see here previously, uh, algorithms have been using this somehow to dump. We can see here we've got three tests of the median line, but then after a while, price went through this one. So I do think the correct uh, pitchfork will be here from 1974. And we can see here from 1974, we pulled the all the way, all the way up to uh, the highest word in 2000 and to the lows here in two, uh, 2009 when we had the major recession and since 2009 price has been trending inside this pitchfork and my theory has been that as long as we stay inside this pitchfork algorithms are not going to let the price dump before we can come up here the algorithms dump their position at the median line and then we're going to have some major event event world war three perhaps that's something we can talk about uh, for another video not, that's not something i really want to discuss here publicly on youtube but i do believe for us to get this major crash they, it has to be so there has to be some big event that's going to explain this massive massive recession which i think we're most likely going to get overall we have not yet reached this median line we can see here back in 2021 2022 we're very very close to the median line but we had this uh, small correction here and right now it looks like we have some kind of final blow off top here in the stock market i see a lot of people here start to call here for a crash once we had this small pullback here for those who uh, follow me are in my discord i don't know if you remember but we called that this is going to be the lowest and most likely we're going to make record highs here right now we can see the stock market is stalling a bit here we haven't yet made record highs on the S&P 500, but I do believe sooner or later we might get some chop here. We're going to continue to climb towards this median line. And I do understand this prediction I'm having here is not, uh, I don't take it lightly. I do understand for us to reach this median line, the stock market still has to pull some insane percent to the upside, 30% within one year or something like that. Let's say we took top 2026, that's 37% in one year. That's insane for the stock market. So I do understand this prediction is really, really uh, let's say unrealistic but on the other hand i do believe that we're in a massive final fifth wave of the stock market which i want you to explain to you in a second and that's also one reason why i'm bullish if we come here back here to this chart on bitcoin you can see here how when the stock market has made a low bitcoin has made a low when the bitcoin has made uh, all-time high uh, when bitcoin has formed a top basically stock market shortly after formed a top and we trend down together stock market formed a bottom bitcoin formed a bottom and the bull market started in bitcoin and the bull market started in the stock market so i think it's very important we look into the stock market so what i want to look uh, show you here on this chart in the stock market is why i believe we're now in a final massive fifth wave before then we have one of the biggest corrections we're probably going to see in our lifetime and this can affect of course the crypto market as well so I want to start here on the weekly time frame in the stock market. I'm going to show you something really interesting here. So for those who are familiar with Elliott wave count here, I have this as a massive, massive super cycle. One, two, this whole wave basically said 1900s goes up all the way to 2007 and down the 2009 crash we had here has just been a second wave. So this is a one, two, three, four. And I do believe we're now in the final super cycle fifth wave before then we have some major, major correction. And I do think stock market could even come and challenge down the COVID lows here since we are highly, highly leveraged. And I'm going to show you my theory behind this. So for those who remember, uh, the only FIBs I use is basically the 0 0.31 and the minus 0 0.236. And the rules are basically we want to find the second wave and pull the FIB from the second wave to the third wave. I'm going to show you now here in a second. So here on the smaller time frame, so basically this third wave here is just uh, a smaller time frame, one, two, three, four, five. And the way we can see here is if we pull from the second wave here 
to the third wave, which is here. And we'll go here on the normal scale so we can see it more clear. So let's go here on the normal scale. What happened once price, we came in from the second wave up to the third wave and we had this big correction back in uh, to 2018. We can see here algorithm stepped in and started buying the exact lows from the 0 0.31. This is one reason I really like this FIB. You can really make some very good profits just trading the 0 0.31 FIB on the weekly or even daily time frames. Algorithms are heavily, heavily using this one. And what they do basically, they buy at the FIB down here, and then they look to sell at the minus 0 0.236. And this is something that completely blew my mind when I saw this myself. I, I, I remember I drew this back here in 2018, and then I stepped away from the charts when, when I was doing my military service. And I remember COVID hit, uh, and I remember I had completely forgotten about this chart. And when I came back, it absolutely uh, blew my mind. We can see here what happened just before this crash was basically the COVID crash that we had here where the stock market uh, went down around 35%. So is it a coincidence that just one week before COVID hit America, we basically hit the algorithms got their target, the minus 0 0.236, and we had this major, major crash. So we can just adjust this one here so we can see how precise this is. I'll show you guys. So this is something I can't explain myself. If there's somebody else uh, that can explain this in the comment section, feel free to write what you believe this is. But I, I just, I don't understand uh, how insane this is, how the algorithms are the first ones to sell just before COVID then hit America and we had this massive, massive drop. So it's just, this, this is just a coincidence. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. I think this is very, very strange to me how this, uh, we just got out at the minus 0 0.236 before then we had a major crash. And I will show something even more interesting. So basically that was the, the we finished the smaller time frame fifth wave. So we can do, again, draw the same FIB, but on the super cycle. So on the super cycle we have here, if we take from the second wave again, up to the third wave. So once again, we can see the stock market bottom at the 0 0.31. It's not a coincidence, I believe. I believe there's very, very big players or big algorithms that are using these FIB tools here. So another very interesting, we could predict it basically two major corrections in the stock market, not only the lows here, but the top as well. Once again, we can see here how the 0 0.31 bottomed, which was actually the same time that Bitcoin bottomed as well. Uh, down here in November 2022. So Bitcoin bottom the exact same time at the stock market. So by following the stock market, we can really predict big uh, tops and bottoms in the Bitcoin market as well. And right now uh, we still have the minus 0 0.236 yet to be reached on the stock market, which is still above us at around 5,800. So that's also one reason I do believe the stock market is gonna go higher, which makes it very hard for me to be bearish on Bitcoin. And then of course, I do believe the stock market can do something like this, then have some correction, and then we're gonna continue to this median line because there's very rarely we see price staying inside a median line for such a long time without uh, reaching the median line. So it doesn't matter when, but sooner or later, I do believe the stock market is gonna have this final push to the upside, which we're seeing now, right now, if we just remove this one here and we'll go here on the normal scale. So we can see here that stock market has started going absolutely parabolic. Right now, we're just gonna try to catch the top here, which I believe is gonna be this median line here. Once we hit this median line, we'll get, we're in for a massive, massive, what well, I believe some uh, big correction, some massive A, B, C, and I wouldn't even surprise if we come back here to the COVID lows. And that's of course, I believe Bitcoin is gonna follow, but before Bitcoin follows, I do think that Bitcoin still have one more leg to the upside to reach this media line once again here before then we can see some global recession. I got some question people asking me in yesterday's video in the comments, what is my outlook if we, in case we'll get the worst case scenario? So let's say my analysis is wrong, what could we expect? And as I said before, I still believe that as long as we stay above the 0 0.5 line here, we can easily go up here to this media line. But let's say worst case scenario, I do think it is possible we can take out these lows. I think it's not very likely, but if we take out these lows here, I have drawn here a nice demand zone between 44,000 and 37,000. So in case we would drop here, I do think here will be a very good buying opportunity. I don't see Bitcoin falling below this. I think if we fall below something really has gone wrong in the market. Overall, I do think it's possible to get a quick week here before then we would continue to the upside. I'm not talking worst case scenario. Uh, right now, I do think that we're due for some kind of move soon here in the upcoming, uh, upcoming few months. I do think Bitcoin is likely to reverse. But if we get another move down, this also would correlate if we take from the lows here to the third wave. This would very nicely correlate with the 0 0.31. The 0 0.31 is slightly above the uh, 
demand zone here so i do think it's possible we could get some weak here this would give us an amazing amazing buying opportunity so if this happens this would actually be a gift to us uh, to buy here at 44 45 000 would be very very good but overall if we go on the normal scale as i showed also yesterday we're currently sitting above the 0 0.31 both from if we pull from the first wave or from the second wave here and go on the log scale so here's actually my 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 current count so i have this as a one two three four as i mentioned before algorithms start buying at the 0 0.31 we can see the beautiful week we got here and right now we're expecting the fifth wave which is going to take us to the minus 0 0.236 but remember the median lines are more important than FIBs. So for example, this FIB is showing the target at around 95,000, but the most important target we want to look at is the FIB. So 95,000 can be our area of resistance. I do think this is gonna be the uh, main uh, top here, this median line. So what the, no matter what the FIB says, we're gonna look at the median line here. Uh, and that's when we're gonna start selling our Bitcoin before then we'll continue down. So if you're interested to uh, follow me on this journey, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna try to do my best guys for us to both catch not only this bull market top, but the bear market bottom. Also want to show you here on the total altcoin market cap. So this is a weekly time frame on the total three. So this is basically all uh, altcoins together. We can see here, if we go on the log scale, here's the pitchfork I drew from the previous bear market lows to the all time highs and then to the recent lows. And if we go on the normal scale here, we can see here, how once the altcoins hit the middle line here, here was basically the top of both the altcoins, the similar time that Bitcoin hit this middle line. Of course, I will admit, I didn't expect that the altcoins would drop so much. I think almost nobody could have expected altcoins to drop 38%, but we can see here how these uh, pitchfork are heavily, heavily uh, moving this market. So you really want, once we hit these middle lines on a weekly time frame, you really, really want to pay attention. You can see here back in March, we actually did predict the top here. We had this as a one, two, three, four, five. Once again, we, the altcoins, the total three, basically the altcoin market cap hit the uh, 0 0.31 here. We had a nice third wave, fourth wave, and then we came up here, which was uh, the median line up here. So we, if we go here on the log scale, I can show you here. We basically had from the second wave up here to the third wave. So we have this at a, as a smaller time frame, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, then I was expecting that as long as we can stay inside this pitchfork, the altcoins can still come up here to this median line. So this is basically a shift pitchfork on this median line. But right now it does look quite bearish because we need to start moving quite quickly. And I don't, I'm not sure if there's enough money left in the market to be able to push the altcoin market cap up to this median line. Right now we can see still algorithms ever since we hit this middle and have been selling so i do think the altcoins would need some time to cool off here we hit the nice uh, uh, demand zone here i think the altcoins could cool down here a bit before then we'll continue to the upside and then we can add a new pitchfork here something like that which is going to give us a new target if we go on the log scale as i said there is possibility still we can reach this middle line, but it, it does look unlikely since we need to start bouncing here and ideally we want to get above the 0 0.5 line here which we didn't manage to hold so that's the only thing concerning me of the total altcoin market cap. If we check the Bitcoin dominance, this is actually, I think, mo much more important to check when we're going to get an alt season. So the Bitcoin dominance, usually when it tends to drop, that's usually when the money flows into altcoins. Right now, on the weekly time frame, we're approaching this median line here that I have on the weekly time frame, which I've drawn from the December 2017. So I do believe Bitcoin has still some more, some more uh, to go on the Bitcoin dominance. Once we reach this median line, I do expect some kind of pullback. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see something like this on Bitcoin. We have one more push up here to around 58%, 58.4 dominance. And then we can start talking about the pullback. How deep? I'm not sure yet. But I do think this is going to be a heavy, heavy pitch for since it is on the weekly time frame. And there can be some very heavy selling here. So here's the time once we reach 58.5, 58.4% when you want to move into altcoins and we can expect some kind of bounce to the upside. If we come here on the shorter time frame here on Bitcoin, I want to just show you quickly here uh, because I know there are a lot of traders. If we check the daily time frame here, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, we're still waiting for this median line to get reached at around 50, 56,000. I still do believe we are, uh, have still some time to chop here. As I said, usually September is a bearish month, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get something like this around 56, maybe even 55,000, 55.8 before then we can talk about the move to the upside. I do think there are algorithms waiting to buy here. If we come on the fourth wave, as I posted yesterday in my Discord, so for traders, you can join my free Discord. We can see if we pull from the highs here to the lows, we can see the algorithm started selling at the 0 0.31 as we predicted. 
and right now price has been trending down so i'm looking to this trend to continue down here 55 basically this medium line here depending when we reach it here i'm personally looking with big buy orders to enter long here and then hopefully to start riding the wave to the upside as we have been expecting otherwise i thank so much for watching guys make sure to like the video if you enjoy the daily updates and i'll see you again guys in tomorrow's video